Hey guys, Jacob here. Um, I'm do a video on uh, how to insert the Minilink continuous glucose monitoring sensor and the transmitter. All right, enjoy. All right, so let me uh, show you guys what you're gonna need to get or the supplies. So you have the sensor itself, the soft sensor, it's the glucose sensor. You have the inserter, the transmitter and the charger, and then two IV3000s. And um, you're also going to need IV prep or skin prep just to clean the skin. And uh, let's get started. First, we're gonna want to do, so we're gonna take this out of the package. So here it is, and then we're going to take the glucose or inserter. Actually, first we're going to take this little piece off right here. No, nope, I was just kidding. I'm going to put this on. So the black lines aren't visible anymore. So you're gonna push it in so you can't see the black lines. I know it's kind of hard to tell, but you can't see the black lines anymore. Okay? So now there's this little piece of plastic right here. I'm gonna take that off. And then we're gonna take the needle guard off. Okay? Now, we're just going to push this down until you hear a click. That means it's locked and ready to go for insertion. So we're just going to put this off to the side. You can turn this little knob and it'll lock it so that you can't accidentally press it. So we're going to put this off to the side. And... Now, all right, so now we're going to put the sensor in. So we got this, and we got the IV prep. Okay, so. For this, I'm just going to open up the skin prep, or IV prep. I'm going to do, I'm going to do mine on my stomach. Okay. I'm going to let it dry. Okay, so it's dry now. So we got the inserter. inserter. I'm going to take the lock off, so I'm going to twist it. Okay, so now there's like little bases so you're gonna wanna just lay it on there now for kids and stuff you're gonna just wanna lay it right against the skin okay now when we do this it's really important they do not flex up or like yeah otherwise it's a lot harder for the needle to go in okay so all I'm gonna do is just Kind of stretch out the skin and put two fingers there in the bases. And then we're going to do three, two, one. Okay. Pull out. Pull the needle straight out. Sorry, right, struggle a little there. And then you're going to want to just pull this white piece of tape. And that lays the rest down on there. Okay, so now the sensor's in. You want to make sure the sensor's at least three inches away from your belly button. So that just about is. So the sensor's in, took the needle out. You want to make sure that 
there's not too much bleeding because that means the needle has gone a little bit too far down into the the body. You just the sensor needs to sense the bodily the bod the body fluids. So it doesn't test the blood itself. So if there's it'll normally work with a little blood. In fact, I sometimes get a little bit of uh blood. But um too much blood will it might not work. So but don't give up. Try it first. Doesn't work. You know, then you have to redo it. Okay, so now you're going to take your the sensor. You're gonna un you're gonna un you're gonna want to unplug it from the base station charger thing. You want to charge it every time before you redo your sensor. So you take it out. Make sure that that green light blinks. Okay, and then we're gonna to want to go to the pump. And on the pump, what we want to do. Gonna click act sensor. We're gonna turn on the sensor. So now link to sensor and we're gonna new do new sensor. And it says connect new sensor, then press act or escape to abort. Alright, so we're gonna take this. And we're basically just going to, it kind of just clicks in. going to wait for the confirmation, the two, or the green lights to blink. So now that means that's good, it's communicating, it's communicating with the sensor. So on the pump, we're going to say, Act or escape. We're going to just want to click act. Oops. Go back through there. Sensor. Linked sensor. New sensor. And we're going to click act. Okay. It says sensor ready. And uh, it's ready again in two hours. And that's when we have to calibrate. So now what we're going to do, the sensor's in, we have to use the IV prep, okay? So basically without this IV prep, this sensor is kind of just flopping around and it's going to come out really easily. And we, don't, we want to try to get the most life out of our sensor, whether you use it for three days, six, whatever. So we're going to take some of the IV prep or the, excuse me, the IV-3000s. Gonna take off, take off the back. And we wanna do two separate pieces. This is new. Um, we do not wanna do one fully over it, otherwise it, gets, it pulls on the sensor. And it's, in some cases, not good. I'm gonna lay it on top of the first part of the sensor Pull this part, and pull that part. Okay, then we're going to take the top off. So now we have the tape over the first part of the sensor. Okay, then you're going to want to take the second one. And you can cut these down to a better size that fits you. Just for the purpose of this video, I'm just doing a full one. Okay, so again, we're going to take the bottom off. Okay. Then we are going to put another piece over just the sensor itself. And I found it's a lot easier. Do not, like, be tucking your stomach in or anything when you're putting these on the tape because it's, it's a lot tighter if you are tucking your stomach in when you're putting these on. So make sure you just hanging out your stomach when you're putting these on because it's a lot more comfortable when you wear it. It's not as a tight feeling. So now the sensor's all done. Now this process goes a lot faster when you're not doing this on camera. It normally takes me about two minutes to do this fully. So basically, it's the sensor's in. 
So in about two hours, I'm going to come back and it's going to ask me for my calibration. And basically what it's doing right now, the sensor, it's, it's in a wetting process. So the gold, the gold uh, wire that's in me right now uh, in the sensor, it's basically getting wet with the fluid so that it can read the, the body fluids. So and then it needs the calibration. So I'll come back when it requires me to test. Thanks. And also, there is already a little bit of blood on mine. It's okay. I don't know if you can tell. It's just a little bit red there. So, it is okay if you have some blood. Don't freak out. It's just... It's okay. So, if there's a lot of blood, yes, you're going to want to maybe try and change it if it doesn't stop and if the sensor doesn't work correctly. All right, guys, so now I have to test. It's been a couple hours, and it told me it's ready for calibration. So. Okay. And I'm 111. So on the pump it says 111. Would you like to update sensor? You click yes. And it's updated. So now um, in a little while it'll start displaying my glucose readings. Alright, thanks for watching guys. Um, I'll be doing a review of the whole sensor and how to work it and stuff soon. And um, I have a lot more videos coming up, so um, feel free to comment, uh, personal message me uh, if you want any videos of a certain type or any questions. Alright, thanks for watching.